Hey everyone and welcome. So this is my tier list for all the Persona games. Um, well, just 3, 4, and 5 actually. But uh, So I've been playing a lot of Persona lately. Persona 3 was just recently released uh, not too long ago. Uh, earlier this year I think uh, for the Switch and PC and all that. So I went ahead and played that. Just beat it about a week ago. Um, and I kind of want to just uh, compare them all and talk about what's good about the Persona series, what's bad, um, and do a bit of a comparison between the, the three. Um, so here we go. So um, I guess I'll start off with Persona 3 since this is the one I just played most recently. Um, you know, compared to the other ones, you know, Persona 4, Golden I played, and 5, and, and Strikers, um, I felt like Persona 3 was definitely one of the weaker ones. Um, so what, what's good about Persona, you know, obviously it's a heavily story driven game. Um, the combat is so-so, you know, I mean if you like turn-based games like that, um, which I do, but they're not, probably not my favorite genre, um, but Definitely because the story is just uh, drives these games so good. Um, I, I don't mind playing turn-based at all um, Especially with Persona 5 because it made it so uh, Fun it just like it really like uh, Changed my perspective on turn-based games um, But back to Persona 3 basically, I think this was like, you know, I haven't played for the first or second game but I, I did watch um, some gameplay footage of uh, the first and second games but Persona 3, it really looks like it, um, you know, I commend it for basically um, establishing, like, how Persona, you get, what I'm trying to say is you can basically really see how Persona 4 and 5 are influenced by 3, um, just in terms of the social links, the combat, and uh, the way the story is told and everything. Um, between all three of these games, there I've noticed something with the story is that there's always one kind of like lovable idiot character, which is be like um, uh, Ryuji in Persona 5. In Persona 4, um, there's the other guy who's like your kind of best friend, and Persona 3 has the same thing. Um, <laughs> but uh, and and you'll kind of see that they they it's uh, people people kind of. Uh, I've seen someone kind of critique Persona for having just um, two, two like tropey characters. They just kind of fulfill anime tropes, and I can see that. Um, but what I liked about the Persona was that as you advanced each social link, um, you kind of got to know that character more and more, and you saw that they have. Um, you know, you know, maybe like a rough upbringing or any, something like that, or uh, they have their own reasons and motivations for what they do, and 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 th for the reason, for, 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 that's why they are the way they are is because of uh, what they explain to you in those social links. Um, so that was something that was really nice about this series in general. But um, Persona Three was it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough. So. I'm a big story guy, so for me, if the story isn't uh, advancing, if it if there isn't a good pace, I think Persona 3 has a really bad pace pacing problem, um, and I think some of the other games suffer from that too. But I, I noticed it the most with Persona 3. So the first half of this game, story-wise, was just ah oh man, it was it was a slog. It was, it was very very rough to to get through. Um, I didn't like it at all, honestly, and I felt a lot of the times, like, whereas with Persona 4 and 5, in the evening or afternoon, um, and, you know, in the evening, it, it felt like I didn't have anything to do in the towns. It was very limited, you know, I'm not sure because it was released really early on if they just didn't have enough storage or memory or whatever, but, um... Yeah, there was really not that much to do um, in the evenings. I found myself just going to sleep a lot of the time instead of like doing the fun things that you could do in the other games. Um, so 
I mean, besides that, it just, it really felt like the story was just taking so long to finally reach some sort of interesting point or climax or anything. Um, but once it did, it did really pick up and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say any spoilers or anything, but basically there is a point in Persona 3 where things take a sudden shift, things like change dramatically, um, and something is revealed and, you know, <laughs> all three of these games kind of do that. There's a big reveal or big, um you know, uh, they try to, they they, they they try to like, you know, basically lead you one way, but then they, all of a sudden, this this thing happens, right? So I'm, I'm trying to keep it vague to avoid spoilers, but um, yeah, so Persona 3, because it just, it took so long for the story to really pick up, that's, I think, why I didn't like it that much. Um, Tartarus was just a massive like 260 level climb it just felt very very repetitive and it just it was just your all the levels were so similar i i don't know you know whereas um you know in persona 4 and 5 you you had all these different like palaces and, and areas that you went to and and just different themes and different uh characters that you were going up against um so you know for persona 3 it's still a good game, and because it picked up at the end, I I think I'm I think I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a, a solid B, which isn't bad. You know, C and D tiers just that, that, that you know that's awful, but B is 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 pretty good. Um, definitely worth playing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting story, especially towards the end. Um, Pretty good gameplay, pretty good social links. I wouldn't say there's too many great social links here. Um, yeah, you know, just being honest, there were not that many great social links either here for me. I felt like the characters were really kind of on the boring side, um, except for a few, you know. Um, the, the President Tanaka guy, I thought he was hilarious. Um, Mitsuru was pretty cool. Um... And uh, yeah, that's 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 about it. <laughs> um, so all right, so let's move on to the next. Oh, um, and something about all three of these games is, uh, or any Persona game most likely, is just the music is fantastic. Like, so the music in all three and in, in all of these games is just going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, so let's go on with uh, Persona Four. So Persona Four. Um, I also didn't like it that much in the beginning. This is more of a murder mystery vibe type of game. Um, but it took a little bit to pick up. You know, I guess there's a common theme here. But um, I will say, and I'm already going to put it in... Oh man, I don't even know whether to put it S or A. It, it could be like a high A, almost S. That's what I would say. Um, but... Persona 4, what happened with me was, uh, I, so I like all the social links, music is fantastic, combat is great, story is is awesome, I, I really like the twist that they did at the end, um, no one really expected that, <laughs> um, at least I didn't, and I, I really like that, um, so yeah, the story is great, music, but but for Persona 4, the, the thing that really got me was the ending. The ending of Persona 4 is just fantastic. Um, when they start playing the music during the credit scene, and and you you see, you'll know what I'm talking about when you when if you've played it if, or when you're gonna play it. But um, that scene really got me. That's when I kind of sat back and I was like, damn. This is a fucking good game. <laughs> so yeah, Persona 4 is definitely uh, one of the best Persona games. Um, that's that's without a doubt. Um, all right, so let's move to the next one. So you know, um, for per, for Strikers, I would say um, I'd say I really like Strikers. It was. You know, it's not turn-based. It's completely different than than the rest. Um, I'd put it like in A as well. And the reason for that is because they innovated. They tried something different. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is, uh, you know, it's just as good as any and any of the other like more recent Persona games. Um, 
And what I mean by that is it has a like a brand new story. Like I didn't even know that. I thought I thought Persona 5 Strikers was just gonna be Persona 5 retold, but with um, action combat. But no, it's 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 a completely new story. Interesting. It's it was it was really good. It was honestly really good. Um, music fantastic. Combat was fun. Um, you know, Persona has always been turn based, so. For them to just make it action combat was was definitely something innovative. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say Persona 5 Strikers was pretty damn good. I, I do remember a just good memories with it. Um, and yeah, and the final one, of course, is Persona 5. And you're probably gonna guess this, but yes, I would say that it is the best iteration of of Persona. And I'll put Royal up here as well, so basically the same game. Um, so the reason I'm doing that is Persona 5 innovated the most in terms of the combat, where now you can you can use like your um, almost like an auto attack weapons. You, you know, they 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 allowed you to do so many cool things in terms of combat, and as well as um, increasing your uh, not the social links, but like your attributes or characteristics, like intelligence and strength and all that stuff. And it everything was just so well animated. Not just well animated, but so stylized. They really went all out. They really, um, they they really, yeah, yeah. They really went all out when it came to like when it came to like the persona style of of, of graphics, of, of the way they drew things. Everything was every menu was was different every just text dialogue was 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 it, it was just awesome um some bad things what can i really say bad i mean besides like <laughs> ryuji just screaming bullshit 24 7 um you know that was a little annoying uh i'm trying i'm trying to think so so if, if you're not a person who likes dialogue you're probably not gonna like any persona game to be honest you have to be comfortable with a lot of dialogue like with a lot of um J jrpgs i guess uh so if you don't like dialogue you're probably not gonna like any of these games but um if if you're a story type of person i think jumping in with persona 5 is just gonna be it, I, I think that's what's gonna gonna like uh draw people to these series and and and, and keep them keep them here and, and make them want to try the other games because that's what happened with me. I played Persona 5 first, and I, I knew after I beat it, I just I knew that this was, you know, something special. That this was something I wanted to play more of. So I went back and I then I played Persona 4, and then Strikers, and, and then now Persona 3. So, um, yeah. So good things obviously is the combat, the music, the story for these games. Um, bad things. You know, a lot of dialogue is a double-edged sword. Like you, you, you want interesting dialogue, but you don't want anything to bore the player or, or like tedium or or, or just um, words for the sake of words to like pad the game or something or, or just like completely uninteresting dialogue. So, and and it, it has to have that balance, yeah, between combat and and and, and story and, and you know so. I think um, I think these games do a, do a good job of, of, of balancing those those things. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, this is my tier list. This is my opinion. Again, you know, you guys let me know what you think, uh, which is the best. I, I know there's, I know these <laughs> Persona fans can get a bit crazy when when they start saying you know which game's the best. So let me know what you think. Um, this is the order that I'd put it in, you know, probably Royal in front of this because it's, you know, just in a, a superior version of Persona 5, but these are basically the same. Um, Persona 4 Golden, uh, especially because the ending was so good. Strikers, fol followed by Strikers, and Persona 3. And, uh, yeah, it's my tier list. Thanks for watching the video, I appreciate you, and have a good day. Peace.